Welcome to uh, another episode of MTP or Meet the Penis. This is, uh, let's see, I don't know, number five, six. I'm not sure where we're at right now, but we have so many people asking so many great questions. I'm going to try to just blow through uh, a bunch of the questions that are really quick by giving you all one quick summary and saying your names. Um, I found one question extremely interesting because I like looking at the history of uh, penile implants uh, because I happen to know the guy who developed the very first penile implant and he's one of my mentors. Um, and it, the question comes from Ralph and Ralph says I, I, have, I have a penis that is small when flaccid. Can the inflatable penile prosthesis be partially inflated to assist in urination? And it's interesting, if you look back, you know, and I'm not sure if you realize this, but the very first treatment for erectile dysfunction was a penile implant. Back in the day, greater than 40 years ago, they thought that everybody had psychogenic problems. They didn't realize that really 95% of it, of the problems are organic, they're not psychogenic. So they were putting penile implants in mostly spinal cord patients, and oftentimes the implant was used for condom catheter use. Uh, the condom fits nicely on a rigid penis and uh, these uh, spinal cord patients could have uh, uh, a much better fit with their condom catheter if they had a malleable penile prosthesis in place. Of course, you have two types of people, growers and showers. And with the penile implant, oftentimes people ask me, well, it, does it, does it detumesce, does it, does it uh, shrink down, you know, the old Seinfeldian shrinkage? Does it, does it um, telescope down? Uh, and in reality, it really doesn't. It will, will become completely flaccid when you deflate it, but it will protrude. So yes, it's going to be easier to pee if you have a small penis and it's, it's being extended to not the maximum, but close to the maximum length that you will have from the pubic bone out. Um, so I, I found this question very interesting. I'm hoping that um, Ralph will want to use it for something more than just uh, urination. But uh, because of the, the history, I thought I found this uh, question fascinating. Now, not, not to say that Lloyd, who has a history of uh, a broken implant or in, in Enrique, um, I can't remember what his problem was. Joe had Peroni's disease. John had a priapism in 2005. Enrique has problems with Viagra. And then there's Mac. I can't remember exactly what happened with Mac. But to answer all of their questions, I can basically say that uh, penile implant is safe and effective way to treat erectile dysfunction. It gives you a penetrating penis for as long as you want. You ejaculate, you can keep going if you want to. You decide when to detumess your penis. There, there are no bad effects in regards to uh, um, the length of your erection or ejaculation. You have to understand that impotence is the only thing that makes a penis smaller and we will discuss this again on another MTP. But it's a very busy political day and it's a very busy um, um, day in the operating room. We, we did a, a couple of very interesting referrals from the outside uh, and we've done about seven or eight uh, um, virgin cases. So we do have a couple more and I hope the implants go a little bit better than the politics of the day. Have a good one.